So what I promised was uh, to show how to use UKM Folio with H5P. So for the H5P, here's an example of my notes on my UKM Folio. So this one is a discussion about vitamins in breast milk. Okay, I'm using this as an example only. I'm going to delete this afterwards. So based on this, I want the students to read the material and then to test themselves whether they understood what was discussed inside the notes. So I want to create an H5P that will allow them to test their knowledge. Okay, so I already done this exercise in H5P elsewhere. Okay, the site is h5p.org. So basically, I expect the students to be able to check, for example, what is necessary for vision. Okay, so vitamin A is for vision. Okay, then we take the vitamin D for bones. Okay, whoops. That's so forth. Okay, so they, they will have to pull and uh, select whichever that is necessary. Okay, so vitamin K for blood coagulation. Okay, so... If they have to check, you can just click here. Wow, I got it right. So I got 3 out of 11 right. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay, now I'm going to use this code for me. So I can use as an H5P file. So download as H5P file. So it is downloaded here. You can see there. So it show in the folder. So this is the H5P file. This, the size is uh, 840 kilobytes. Okay. So I'm going to upload this one into my UKM folio. Okay. So let's have this thing out on the desktop. And I'm going to have it prepared on the UKM folio. So let's have it out on the desktop. So this is on uh, out of the desktop. So let's try to have this inside my UKM folio. Okay. So now I'm going to add this on my UKM folio. This is my UKM folio. So I'm going to click add an activity or resource. So what I'm going to click, I'm going to add my H5P content. So here, I click add. Immediately, the options for all the H5P are already listed here. So you can do it on your own here, okay, uh, step by step, or you can upload it here. So I'm going to upload the file. So I'll click upload. Okay, where it is, this is on my desktop. I'm going to click this one. Click open. Okay, then I'm going to click use. Okay, so once this thing is done, okay, I'm going to click save and return to course. Okay, so now what happened now for the students? When they, they, they do this exercise, they, they see this H5P at the bottom. Okay. So let's see how this thing runs in this uh, real life picture. Okay. So I'm going to turn editing off. Okay. So what happens now? Okay. For the students. Okay. Let's see this as a student. Click C scroll as student. C scroll as student. Okay. I'm the student just read through the exercise and I see this exercise at the bottom there. So I click on this one. Okay. So I got this exercise. So this exercise are here. So now as a student, I'm going to do this exercise. Okay. So I'm just going to click on the necessary items and see whether it's right or not wrong. Okay. Let's see what we A for vision. Vitamin K for blood coagulation. Vitamin D for bones. Okay. Vitamin C. Uh -huh. Let's see whether this is right or wrong. Vitamin E. Okay, let's check. Wow, I got it right. So, exactly here is your solution. They give all the answers there. Alright? Okay, thank you very much.